This programme is sponsored by Rotterdam Pride, Dare to Unite. It's Sunday, the day after Pink Saturday in the Netherlands. We celebrated wildly yesterday and we're gonna do an episode of Pride and Religion. So Chantal, what's the topic and who are our guests? Uh, we will speak about how to combine your uh, religion with your sexuality. Okay. Very interesting. Exciting. Exciting. And we have three wonderful guests. Uh, Tell me. First, we have Jelle Zelstra. Don't know him, but it sounds good. Yeah, he's a Dutch Jewish activist and a community organizer. And he's also trained as a theater director. Drama. Yes. And also we have Jordan Roy. Oh. You know him very Personal well. Personal friend. Uh, participated in X Factor in the Netherlands with uh, the group Alicious, a great singer. Is he also our m uh, music entertainment of the night? Uh, yes, yes, you're right, you're right. And he grew up in a Pentecostal church. Yes. Beautiful word. And our last but not least, we have your favorite of last season. Harold. Harold. Yes. Yes. The minister from the Laurelin Church, the biggest church in Rotterdam. Love him. He was in season one. We love him. Very and he much. knows what the OnlyFans is. Yes. Let's go to the couch. <laughs> so there we are. Pride and religion. Welcome. Um, amazing. Interesting. Yes. yes. What yes. are we going to do? Tell me. Yeah, we have Jelle. Harold and Jordan. Well, Jordan, uh, I know, Harold yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, we haven't met, but welcome. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Pride and Religion. Harold, yes. DM, you still know what DM means? Um, no. Well, we're <laughs> going to do the shot again. <laughs> well, really nice that you uh, are here again. Yeah. You see, guests do return. You said nobody wants it. And uh, you're going to perform later. Yes, I am. Oh my God. Uh, I love your single uh, for the people in Europe. Man, yes. amazing. One one sentence. What's it about? I am a man. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have some fun. Cheers. We have. Uh, it's a Dutch talk show. We have some cheese uh, given by this really, really, really uh, nice lady. So I said to her, "Why do you give this cheese?" Well, she said, "It's a Dutch talk show, so you have to have something," which is really cute. And then I said, okay, so shall I go, uh, uh, mention your name? No, no, that's okay. I said, I will, give me a sign. Sign. Uh, and she did. <coughs> but it's the oh. cheese store of her daughter. Isn't that cute? That's Aww. very cute. So everybody in Holland, Kaas and Amas, go there. Okay, I'm done with the uh, commercials. <laughs> So now we will start to the religion part? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, Jelle, uh, I'm very excited that you are here because you are Jewish. Yes, And I am. you are gay. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Tell me about it. I hear Barbara's well, question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's there to say? I was, I was um, born like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think one of the interesting things about being Jewish is that it, that it is, um, for most people, I mean, you're, you're, there's also Jews by choice. It is something that um, that's in your blood that you're that's, that's passed down to you by your parents through your mother, uh, right? Uh, it can be through your mother. It can be through your father. It depends who you ask. Oh, uh, but um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, uh, so. Yeah, I, I, I've never. For me, I think one of the the sort of assumptions is. I, I mean, I've I've been asked before to talk about you know the combination of being uh, queer or gay and and. Uh, coming from a religious minority group, um, the assumption usually is, oh, that, that must be difficult, right? Is it? Um, and for me, it, it's, it's never been, been difficult. And I think that also has to do with the nature of Judaism a bit, but uh, we can talk about that uh, yeah. later, maybe. Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. And, and for you, um, yeah, a little bit different. You are uh, gay and Christian. Sure, yeah. and, and you know the name of that church? Uh, Pentecostal. Pentecostal. Yes. yes. We learned something this day. Yes. I love the word. Never heard of it. <laughs> and how was your uh, childhood? Uh, um, well, I was raised in a very Christian family and we went to church every Sunday, like the, the Pentecostal, uh, Pentecostal church. So it was a very um, 
uh, charismatic, um, um, very difficult for me to be who I am, uh, to be who, I, and to discover my sexuality because it wasn't really um, accepted uh, at the time, uh, not at, in the church, but also not in my family, so... Almost an impossible combination. Yes, yeah. and I didn't dare to be myself uh, completely or to accept myself and accept my sexuality. So that was very hard, but here I am today, being Look alive you know. and, and happy, yes. <laughs> but it is very interesting, and uh, when we were uh, discussing what the topic this year would be of Pride and Religion, uh, we said, uh, uh, which groups of religion because for me I just learned a year ago that there are a lot of uh, different uh, church uh, stroming, uh, stroming streams um, God. but uh, <laughs> um, and then we said okay so how is that for every separate religious uh, culture yeah uh, so uh, we would have loved to have more uh, different types but even there not everybody wants to be on TV saying, okay, I have this religion and yeah. my sexuality is that. So it's even hard to talk about. So, uh, no. And it is hard to talk about because I, I think one of the, one of the things that I uh, s struggle with sometimes on being asked for, for, for conversations like this is that, and I'm, I gladly do them because I think it's important that we, that we talk about these issues, is that you are very easily seen as a representative of your community. And, yeah. and there's no such thing as the Jewish community or no. the Jews or we're all different. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we all have different thoughts, different ideas. Uh, even within Judaism, there's a lot of different uh, yeah, exactly. uh, flavors, so to say. Um, so I'm, what I'm trying to say maybe is, is that tonight I may uh, express a point of view or, uh, not, or not share some thoughts no. that maybe somebody else who is Jewish doesn't agree with um, um, so, Send so it's email. very personal I think yeah. Um, yeah. yeah yeah because yeah for you it's also different yes in church you have all flavors too from uh, very conservative to very liberal mm -hmm. um, and it's not always easy to be gay in the church even in my own church the Protestant church in uh, Holland I'm, I'm here a uh, homosexual uh, reverend in the Laurenskerk but I can't be in uh, reference in any in every but, community. But a city pastor in the second largest city of the Netherlands. I mean, that's because I'm talking about good. positivity. Mm. No? Okay, that's, that's because I'm very good. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there is. Yeah, so, so there is there is uh, a much possible, yeah. but it's it's different for every uh, Christian or Jewish culture or. Uh, it's it's different for everybody. Yeah, yeah. And that's I mean, um, I, I we spoke about it earlier be before uh, before we started this conversation a bit about our coming out and how that was and um, and and for me, being Jewish had nothing to do with 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 why it was hard to come out. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a very secular environment, went to a very secular school, um, and still I didn't come out. That, that, that didn't have anything to do with religion. That had to do with the fact that nobody in my surroundings was gay. Mm -hmm. And that, oh, yeah. I mean, of course, yeah. there were. Yeah. Uh, there were, were people that were yeah. gay, but nobody was you know open now. about it. So um, that does not necessarily have to do with religion. It has to do with a certain culture in society. But you can um, say that that uh, being religious with certain streams of religion mm -hmm. makes it more difficult to combine the fact that it it, yeah. it, it it's I just we agree yeah, that it's uh, uh, a lot of difference, uh, but the fact that we don't have all religions at this table mm -hmm. uh, yeah, proves okay. that yeah. some religions are, uh, and you mentioned this really beautifully last year haven't uh, uh, set the same road as we have accepting ourselves. Right? Yeah. But there's also uh, the point that, not, that the tradition, and you, you said it very well, tradition is playing a part too. You can't always say, uh, we can't come here because of my religion. No. But because of the tradition in uh, no. the country of my <coughs> parents, uh, exactly. it doesn't allow, allow no. it. So it, it's, yeah, it's interacting. And, and sometimes religion <coughs> makes tradition too. Uh, 
And yeah. if we if we turn it around, because that's what we did last year. Mm -hmm. right? the, the, uh, last year we said we want to make Friday religion to show that there's so much positivity mm -hmm. also yeah. towards the LH, the LGBTIQ uh, community uh, from different religions. Um, I totally understand what you say. Can you say that, because uh, we discussed this last year, that from being Jewish there are a lot of uh, also positive impulses towards the community? Yeah. Well, I think especially Judaism is maybe a religion uh, or some flavors of the Jewish religion, religion um, have adopted a very open stance mm -hmm. towards yeah. uh, the LGBTQI mm -hmm. plus community. Um, in the Netherlands, for instance, the biggest uh, Jewish denomination uh, is, a, is a, so the biggest uh, Jewish, uh, uh, how do you say that, stream. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I'm not sure if it's allows, really right. allows uh, or flavor, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. allows uh, people of the same uh, same sex uh, yeah. to, to marry, mm -hmm. uh, which is an extraordinary uh, development. Um, and and there is. A lot of very, uh, a couple of years ago I went to an event that was a Shabbat uh, a meal, so Shabbat is the, the holy day for Jews, uh, not the Sunday but the Saturday, oh, yeah. and it was a Shabbat ritual that was uh, a queer Shabbat ritual, mm. so oh, wow. it wasn't a synagogue but it was with this amazing queer Jewish artist from New York, and, he made, and he made a whole thing about it, and, and he turned this ritual into, into a queer ritual, oh, wow. so we can queer Judaism up. Where was this? And that's uh, it was in Amsterdam in oh. in, uh, in in a smaller synagogue, uh, and it was a lot of people visited the event, and that also kind of um, shows that people are are always looking for for new mm -hmm. uh, uh, for for new way of looking at things, and um, and there's a lot of experiment going on, and I'm not sure how that is within Christianity, but but within Judaism, I as a queer Jew, I can find a lot of people yeah. that are queer and Jewish and that are and that celebrate <coughs> mm -hmm. so that's very um, very nice yeah. and uh, do you know some stories like this from your uh, background? well I don't I, I know that there are churches that are open to, to queer or, or you know uh, people uh, from the LGBTQIA plus community um, and that we talked about it earlier that there are some shifts and, and people are more open and more open-minded and there's a new generation coming up that is more accepting and loving and, yep. and um, um, I'm not going to church these days so I'm, I'm not sure what, what's happening in the church now but what I do know is that um, I always try to talk to people so I try, uh, I talked to my pastor and I gave him a book that I read that was very helpful to me yeah. like hey I'm not here to judge any of you no. or say like you 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 did something wrong for my kind of people but just to to i think it's wise to have conversations to make people more um conscious conscious exactly yeah. of what's of what's going on in the world and that people like me exist and and that they don't stay in this you know thinking um think a thinking world that only the people that how do you say that? Well, it's, uh, maybe what people don't know, they don't understand. Exactly. So inform exactly. each other. Uh, yeah. We, yeah. Uh, we've seen that before. And, Tell uh, each other's stories. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and also, because uh, uh, you say, I don't go to church. <clears throat> before this show, um, I talked to a guy from the city uh, who's Muslim. And he said, I cannot go to the mosque, mm -hmm. but I don't need that to still practice my religion as yeah. a Muslim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which is really strong. Yeah. He said for me, of course I would love to, but it's not possible. But I still feel connected to my religion, so I combine my sexuality and my religion in that way. That's yeah. also Al possible. <coughs> Although in Berlin, apparently there is a mosque where you can go. Uh, so there are yeah. even there are also steps. Yeah. Uh, I don't see the There are there are uh, queer Islamist uh, or Muslim organizations yeah. in the Netherlands. Yeah. I think the point that you made about telling stories is a very important one. Uh, a while back, I, I attended a lecture by a trans rabbi from also from New York. That's where all the, the cool Jews are. Mm -hmm. um, so it's and she, uh, I mean, I'm also a cool Jew. Mm -hmm. but, you know. <laughs> uh, well, look on your left. Look on your left. Look on your left. And and uh, and she spoke about uh, how there in, in Jewish literature, so in Jewish scripture, there is there are seven genders mentioned. Mm -hmm. For instance, seven. You know, and but this is 
but this is a story that we don't that we don't we don't we don't know about mm -hmm. that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's seven um, genders. Yes. Yeah. So so basically, um, uh, non-binary people, okay. trans people. Uh, have always existed also mm -hmm. in religious literature yeah but we just don't tell these stories mm -hmm. how so come those stories them? haven't I think religion is is partly always uh, um, uh, colored by the men usually men mm -hmm. um, who talk about it mm -hmm. you know who, who uh, retell the religious stories um, so there's always a layer of human interpretation Right, mm -hmm. and um, it depends on which human uh, tells the story, what the interpretation is, mm -hmm. and what you leave out, maybe, or what you decide. Well, maybe this means this, and mm -hmm. then somebody else might say, "No, it means that." So there's also a lot of arguing about it. But the leaving out of, of information and the skipping of things and the re and the telling things differently uh, uh, is a part of, of religious tradition. Yeah. Maybe. So certain things we don't talk about. But it's it because um, uh, we also know that uh, without the religion, if you tell a story to someone, and you tell it thirty times, the whole story is gone. Changes, yeah. So I uh, I agree, but it's a big step from seven uh, uh, genders uh, to the time we I have known and uh, how you have uh, grown up. I think to clarify, Jewish text <coughs> is very complicated, and there's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, it's not just uh, uh, the Old Testament. There's a, a lot of a, a lot of text yes so there's a lot in it uh, yeah did you see a change in your uh, I, I, I forgot the word I'm sorry in English and the castle. <laughs> and the castle. Love it. Um, uh, well well what I what I um, this year I had a beautiful experience of, of a beautiful TV program called better than ever and I was allowed or I had the freedom to tell my story yeah uh, that how um, how I grew up uh, religious and what it meant for me to to be gay and, and to come out uh, out of the closet and to um, perform the and song. to perform a beautiful song and it, it touched so many people um, I got so many messages of people saying that who, who are religious uh, Christian or Muslim or whatever religion they had or non-religious or people that I know from church from the from the years um, when I was younger very beautiful stories um, and, and telling me that they um, never um, thought about it then um, how hard it might be for people like me or others um, and that they also don't um, they have regretted that they didn't talk mm -hmm. like hey um, that, that you didn't talk they no didn't. that they didn't talk to me or other people in church or, or places and did you ask them why they did not talk to you um, I think no it's conflict well some people called me actually yeah. um, to just talk to me and say like hey I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I never asked you how are you or how are you oh, feeling wow. um, because it, mu it must be so hard for you and I've never thought about just asking you um, and I think it's also um, it's, I think that's changing because people do call now or they do talk to each other and um, I think that's a very uh, a key that you know talk to each other yeah. and obviously with respect yeah. not like are you gay yeah, you don't but like gay, hey but yeah. Start the conversation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think that's also what's beautiful about. I mean, again, uh, this maybe this this day and age also that there are role models such as you. There are people that you can look up to and that you see on TV or mm -hmm. uh, 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 in your Netflix show or uh, singers, artists um, that you can relate to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it, take, it takes bravery. Yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, uh, last year we had on Friday Sports, we had uh, uh, Paul von Dorst. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, founder of the Pink uh, Supporters, Ros Camarade. Yeah. So this was uh, supporting... Uh, uh, Fine Arts? Club of Fine Arts. <laughs> uh, but he got uh, death threats. Uh, yeah. And he stood firm saying, hey, listen, this is who I am, deal with it. I'm a, a fan of Fine Arts and I want this uh, foundation. So yes, role models, but it takes a lot of bravery and courage uh, to do so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and for the sure. same for you, because I saw the show you were talking about. Um, your song, and he's going to perform later, was so emotional. It got, it went through the, the, the screen of the TV because you told your story and the emotion uh, could be felt. Yeah. And I think it's not only the words that people uh, uh, hear, heard, heard mm -hmm. uh, but they felt the emotion. Mm -hmm. I think you touch more people with that even 
Um, so sharing, uh, absolutely true. Yeah. Uh, like, you, like you said, it's, it's beautiful that we're sitting here next to you. That there, there is, I can say, gay, right? You're gay, gay. Who is it? Dominant Engels. Minister. Reference. Reference. Sorry. Uh, reference. Like, minister. Uh, reference. Like, minister. Uh, mag dat zeggen? Als gay of of? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so beautiful that okay, we have a gay reference uh, here. We have the reference of the Lavish <laughs> Church no, but, talking but about hell. But serious, no. <laughs> but serious, that's so beautiful because yes. in my youth I didn't have that you know like role model or yes. in church I never saw two guys or two women together. I always saw uh, a man, a woman, and children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I never saw yeah, that something that I could become or I yeah. could be. So that was very hard. Yeah. Also because you didn't see it, but it's awesome that. Now you you see, right? and, you that's, and that's also why I think it's so it's so important to realize that so like the story of the, the, that I heard from this trans mm -hmm. rabbi about yeah. the seven genders. Yeah. Like, what stories we never tell because mm -hmm. so much wealth of story of of life of love has has been lost because people were hidden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people were not were being suppressed. Were told no, it's wrong. You cannot be this, or it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's also, I mean, for for a lot of people, it just didn't exist because they. Uh, again, this rabbi, she also spoke about. She grew up in a very religious community, and there they were not homophobic. They just Do didn't you know. talk about it. Yes, they didn't know it existed. So the first time she saw someone accidentally on television that was like her, mm -hmm. like, wow, these people exist. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is there is a wealth of people yeah. and also of history. And we are standing on the shoulders of generations of queer people, mm -hmm. also within religious groups. We've always existed. Um, and now we're more visible than ever. Yeah. Yeah. And that is, that is a beautiful thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you think? Uh Harold. Knowledge is power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have to do. When I was young, very young, mm -hmm. um, I never saw a queer. But I was in the scouting, and afterwards, I th I thought when I bec became queer, I um, how do you call it? I c came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought back to the scouting days, and I thought, oh, that one oh. was queer, that one was queer. <laughs> we don't want to assume that everything in scouting is gay. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but that, uh, that I couldn't uh, there understand were no myself because I had no words for it. There were no role models on TV or... It, uh, it didn't exist. No. We are, we are not, when I asked my mother, uh, and then I told her I was uh, gay, she said, uh, I said, there must be gays in... in uh, in Almelo, where I come from. No, she said. The east of the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, did, it didn't exist. It was mm. all hidden. Yeah. But that's yeah. also very liberal. Your mother said, well, maybe. Yeah. She could have said, what? No. No, she had to think. And that, that, mm. that, that was a uh, kind of sign for me that uh, that all those people, they, they called it oompjes, un uncles. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That they had a, a sort of hidden life. They mm -hmm. were tolerated, but mm -hmm. we don't talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And you still have that in a, in, a, in a lot of countries. As it's okay, we don't yeah. talk about yeah. it, don't yeah. show don't it. Don't ask don't them tell. So. Yeah, exactly. Like, and it, and yeah. it doesn't always have to do with religion. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think. Yeah. I think that's very important to 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 acknowledge that yeah. we sometimes. Exi I think mostly, not mostly, but for instance, in the Netherlands, uh, we have this tendency to kind of be like. We are not homophobic. That mm. ended in 2001, I think, when we got gay marriage. That's when homophobia stopped in this country. And now it's just the religious people. Uh, it's the Muslims. It's the Jews. Yeah. And the rest of us, we, no, that's not. And I think that's a very dangerous uh, because it's kind of complacent. We solved that. Yeah. And now we can look at the minorities. Um, and that's um, and that that makes us complacent. And I mean, just it's like you, at you hit a button and then you, you yeah. And just, it. Yeah, yeah, we fix it. The and index, and it's not true. It's it's uh, you, you see it in, in the states now, where suddenly abortion rights mm -hmm. are are on the oh, table wow, yeah. again. Yeah. And uh, gay rights are next. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so this is uh, we we have to stay alert. Mm -hmm. And even in the Netherlands, there's politicians in Parliament right now yeah. that say horrible and stuff all about Christians. trans people. And mm -hmm. they're not Christian. They're not religious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're secular. Yeah. Um, so just to kind of put a little nuance there, that um, everybody can be homophobic. Like I mm -hmm. mean. Um, and a lot of people still are. 
uh, yeah. also in the Netherlands. Yeah, we see yeah. that also in the football stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we see uh, this guy on uh, Johan Derksen yeah. who, who can make homophobic uh, jokes on, you know, on his TV On Dutch show. television. On Dutch television. He, he, he's not religious. He's just an asshole. Um, uh, but uh, uh, luckily, I think uh, the majority sees him like that. So yeah. uh, free speech, let him be an asshole and let him be uh, uh, discovered. But um, well, but it's hurtful. I mean, yeah, like, of language like that on, on on national television. Imagine being the queer kid that is afraid to come out, maybe because he's religious or maybe because he's being bullied in school. Yeah. And he's he's watching that TV show and he's seeing that TV yeah. presenter talk about about uh, queer people that way. But you see it in sports. You see it in and uh, TV. Of course, everywhere. Yeah. But, and, but you have a, as a, as someone that has their face on television. I mm. think you have a responsibility. Mm-hmm. The positive yeah. thing about it is that exactly what you said too, uh, uh, Jordan, is that we talk about it and that right. it's open. And we are here on the couch yes, um, like uh, talking about that with different uh, backgrounds because mm-hmm. you're religious. Mm-hmm. Also from that beautiful word that I forgot, sorry. Pentecostal. Pentecostal, <laughs> yes. I'm old. Pentecostal. Yeah, we're yeah. from is the is same church. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on the same couch. Twins, twins. <laughs> Yes, yes. And do you have the same experiences? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah? We, yeah, now... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we we, we uh, talked uh, about it this, this yeah, afternoon yeah, yeah. with each other and uh, I heard some uh, yeah, similar uh, uh, stories. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. But uh, the same as you uh, told us uh, some minutes ago, um, yeah, you have so many churches, so many people, and uh, you can't say uh, uh, it, all the people from that church are thinking like that. Um, everyone is different in that church either. So, yeah, I think um, it's more that the culture of a church uh, can be like this, but people are individuals. Yeah. So everyone has another opinion about this. Do you think that there will be, because it keeps bringing me back to what you said last year, that. Um, Finding out who you are again, eh? so for me it took like uh, a while, knowing that uh, I prefer uh, men uh, over women, sexual, I love yeah. you, I know that. But, um, um, and you said, give your loved ones and the people around you that same time to get adjusted to the fact that now you have a boyfriend. Uh, do you think that that also goes for religions, uh, step by step, and maybe, um, you know, uh, for time said something. Uh, the politician who was uh, killed in 2002 Two. Um, said he named a religion. Uh, uh, oh, look, English really backwards. 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 Thank backwards, you. Yeah. Uh, it was out of context, but what he meant was they are uh, maybe not as far on that road as uh, some other. Uh, and they, they, they I'm not saying that's true, but uh, I think it's not true because what we said is the, the religions are very uh, diverse, yeah. very much flavors, and you yeah. have the tradition. I had a, uh, an interview with a, a Muslim a guy, a gay one, and I asked him uh, after the, his whole story, yeah. that was terrible, uh, <laughs> are you angry? Yeah. And he said, I'm, I'm angry because I know there are still young people who have to grow up and uh, face a time when they have to come out. Oh. And he hoped and he prayed that that time would uh, end. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's uh, I think, religion has a, has a part in it and tradition has a part in yeah. it. And, and we as humans. Uh, yeah. humans have a part in it. Why would we make it difficult? Why, yeah, why should... I, I was going on, on a trip with the young people and one said, for all, oh, we're going to Germany. Uh, it's nice, she said to the, the boys, there are girls too, and to the women there are <laughs> boys too. And I said, okay, this, this is the last comment uh, that is uh, so uh, heterosexual. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> you can't do that. No. Because there you are young people who are thinking, for, uh, who am I? Uh, yeah. What am I feeling? And if you put them back in. Yeah. It, it, it's not uh, ill meant or not, not no. uh, wrong. Uh, it's the way you were raised, like it's the, the images you yeah. see, what people tell you. But they don't tell it in, in a, with a wrong intent. No, but no, no. It, it, it's, you have to think more. 
And maybe maybe it's even better not to tell them not to say that anymore, but yeah. to add some other options. Yeah. And uh, I'm thinking, uh, when we uh, look back in history, uh, there are, I think, uh, moments in history that there was more queerness in some cultures. Uh, so I'm thinking, mm. uh, sometimes we tell people, Agreed. oh, at this moment we can do more than 20 years ago, but when mm. we look some hundred years ago, there was, there were, yeah, there, there were more possibilities sometimes. Uh, maybe you can tell something about that? It's the patriarchy, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yes. I mean, we have come, we have, we, I think we, we lack imagination a bit. Yeah. Um, and I think a certain story uh, has become a certain narrative, the binary na narrative, man, wi woman, straight, gay, mm -hmm. yeah, all these, you know, very <coughs> set, yeah. there's two options for yeah. you. Uh, that has become kind of the, the, the dominant narrative. Yeah. And we need, and I think we live in a time right now where there is more imagination yeah. and we are opening up and we, we, are, we are starting to learn about our histories. Mm -hmm. We are starting to, 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 uh, to listen to each other's stories. Uh, to be more open-minded, to be more creative. We have role models, we have oh. so, um, uh, it's changing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, being more open-minded, being more creative, I think it would be a great time to see your, your cre creativity yes. <laughs> Can I do that over? Your yes. creativity. <laughs> um, uh, but totally agree. I understood that you have to uh, return to <coughs> Amsterdam. Uh, <laughs> there, uh, uh, thank you so much for. Uh, uh, no I hope you see a little bit of the of, 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 uh, Jordan. Uh, Jordan, uh, may I ask you to uh, go to yes. stage? I will be there with you in a minute. Sure. People, we're going to have an amazing performance of uh, Jordan Roy, uh, Man. Woo! <laughs> Very excited to have you here, Jordan Roy, uh, in front of the skyline of the city we both live in. Um, where can people find you when they, well, they have to follow you, but uh, on social media? On YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, everywhere, it's Jordan Roy. Go follow, go follow, go listen to the sound of this man. Uh, uh, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you and for inviting me. And I love this song. Uh, Europe, you're gonna have uh, some exciting new tunes. Man by Jordan Roy. Give it up, people. Told me to say please and thank you, man. When I was young, huh, I still listened. When I was young, daddy thought he taught me how to be a man. When I was young, when I was young. Hmm. As I grew up, I did what they wanted. That didn't change me inside. As I grew up, I started doing my thing. As I grew up, I taught myself to be free and just for me. As I grew up, as I grew up. Oh, yeah. I am a man. Yes, I am. I am a man. Oh, I am a man. Whoa. I am a man. I am. Oh, I am a man. I ain't no monster, but I'm the creature I envision for me. Thought I needed approval and permission Had to grow up where they had to grow up Now that I'm here, you tell me how to walk, how to talk What to wear, wear my hair, I don't care Now that I'm here, now that I'm here Yes, sir. I am a man Yes, I am a man I am a man
I want you to hear my story. I want you to be free through my story. And I want us to understand that no social construct, no government, no religion, nobody can tell us who or what to be. I am masculine. Mm, I am yeah. Man. I am everything I need you to be. I'm everything you need. I'm everything. I am masculine. Yeah. Amazing. What did you think of this song? I, I is it your style? Hey. Yes. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. That was a performance. Thank you. We were just asking uh, uh, the minister from the church, what you, uh, is it your style of music? Yes, it's my style of yeah. music. Yes. So your ne the next performance, he just asked, it's, it's uh, allow us church. church. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We got tickets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's it's uh, um, uh, thank you for that performance. I, I love that song. I think it says a lot about the topic we're talking about uh, as well. Um, a, a question we do this uh, series is uh, uh, a, a nice one. What is pride for you? Well, it means definitely being yourself, uh, being proud of who you are, um, that everyone can be his own being. You know. Are you, are you there? Do you have the feeling I can be? Uh, yes, because I'm not. Uh, I'm not asking anyone permission anymore to be who I am. So I'm just myself, and you have to accept that. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. That's for me. That's pride. And feeling, feeling totally fine with yes, yourself. Yes, I feel 100 percent completely happy with myself. Yes. It's beautiful to hear. Mm -hmm. I'm. I. I. Afraid to ask. Are you okay with yourself? Oh, I'm very okay with myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yes, yes, I'm very, very happy with myself. You're a blessed man. Yeah, I'm blessed, yes. And what means pride for you? Uh, pride means a moment where love uh, reigns. Because um, you, see, you see that pride is more and more an event, uh, not for protesting, not for uh, fighting for your place. But it's what you say, acceptance, you, you can be who you are. No. No, no matter what. And, uh, and no judgment. So, uh, uh, acceptance, love, uh, you're a blessed man. I'm very blessed, yeah. So, uh, going to that last month, uh, which was a remarkable news, there was a Dutch uh, uh, religious person uh, declared holy. Yes. Titus Bronswa. Yes. God, I still remember um, uh, He also said, uh, uh, God is love. Yeah. Um, Shirma, a friend of mine, you know Shirma Ras, she always says uh, nothing but love. Uh, uh, my, sh that's her, those are her words, religion is sending love into the world, feeling love. Um, is that a little what you try to say as well, that don't judge, don't protest, but just... Yes, um, there's this one part in the one uh, letter in the Bible that says uh, God is love. And that's that's it. Love, is, the, love is creation. But why do they need so many books? If that's it. Uh, yeah. Why do they need so much books? Because we are not uh, very clever as people. I think <laughs> <laughs> we need a lot of words to understand and repeat and repeat and repeat. Now I think uh, the real um, the, th the real thing is that the whole Bible, for me, is uh, is talking about love. How God is trying to uh, give men a life where they can be themselves, be happy. And live together, happy side by side. And you see in all the Bible that that people uh, time by time uh, forget it. And then you got get in a society. Sometimes our society is like that that we are cold to each other. Yeah. That we are neglecting the poor and uh, being you know, uh, very aggressive to uh, heterosexuals and the other LGBTQ. Plus. But do you mean it's like a, a time flow? It's a time flow and every time we have to remember oh, how, ca how can we make this world a better world? Yeah. And wh why, do, why do we live only for ourselves? Because when we love, 
we give other people room and then uh, the world will well be very 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 nice to live in is it too simple for me to connect that to the uh, uh, events happening uh, from February on in Ukraine Russia uh, the the polarization the uh, sometimes uh, uh, tough times we're living in it, it, it seems like the 20 the roaring 20s 30s from the last century uh, are those the same timelines or mm, yeah. Sometimes I, I think so. I, when, when we look uh, at the last um, years, which, which it started officially with, uh, with Trump in, in America, that people are more and more um, uh, selfish, more and more uh, are, don't have any future plans uh, or possibilities. And you see also in Holland that, that there are politicians with big mouth uh, who, and people trust them. And that is because people are afraid, and sometimes I understand it very well that it, we live in a time uh, where uh, there are rich people and poor people. Some some people have all the chances, some people yeah. have none. Yeah. Uh, they, they 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 tap from the emotion people have, the fears people have. So, yeah, yeah. so you have now a society. If you, um, I, I'm afraid uh, that that can explode yeah. because uh, people are neglected. And we, I hope we can go back to a time uh, where we think, okay, uh, let's share. And how, Just how let's share. what would your advice be right now? Because uh, uh, last year we were still small, uh, Netherlands and uh, Belgium, but now 12 European countries. What would your message be to people to prevent that, to not even prevent it, but to change it back to the positive? Um, and it's not like, uh, look, I'm your father, not to the dark side, but I mean, <laughs> Look, I am your father, but uh, my yeah, son's yeah, name's yeah. Luke. But um, uh, no, but seriously, because I, I I do understand what you say. Maybe you too as well. Uh, strange times. Sometimes you're like it's like the tension uh, uh, in society. What can you do as an individual to change that? Because it starts with one person, right? Uh, you have to change yourself first. Uh, you can be very um, afraid too because mm -hmm. of the situation in the world. Uh, but you have to say, okay, this may be uh, this may be how the world is now, but I don't want to stay with it. I don't want believe, to give in. I don't want to give in. Yeah. I, I still believe there's a possibility that we can change. And then you have to start with yourself because. Uh, I have my uh, prejudgments too, um, uh, to uh, foreigners, to uh, heterosexuals, to my neighbor. <laughs> to heterosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have you have your uh, your own um, prejudgments yeah. uh, to people, and you have to keep an open heart. You can say now all the Russians are uh, are uh, wrong. Yeah. No, they are not. No, of course. There's one. Yeah. And some around him. And if you keep that open heart, there will be a possibility uh, to uh, seeds for a new future, future to, to, yeah, to flourish a uh, new future. And would you have an advice, sorry, I'm, uh, uh, but I think this is really interesting because this of course, well of course, but I, I understand this, but uh, it's like a subconscious behavior we have, right? We, we all judge. If you go uh, mm -hmm. to a terrace in the sun, and you see people walking by, you think, oh, oh right, the, the fun thing on sitting on a terrace. Never. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how uh, can you stay in keeping that open mind? Because you're busy, you're, uh, uh, we have this conversation mm -hmm. now, but in three months you don't think about this anymore, and you're like, oh, the stupid Russians, well, well, for example. Maybe it depends on how you, how you live. I mean, uh, what I try to do since this year is uh, start the day for myself and with myself, and it can be reading a Bible or pray or uh, what I'm doing now is write three things down that I am happy or lucky about. Every day? Every day. Oh, wow. Of course, maybe someday, you know, you're not, you're not doing your routine, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. but I'm, I'm trying to, that's my purpose for this year, for this period, to just start the day with why am I lucky today, Why am I? what am I happy for, that's and so it nice. really changes your way of thinking, your mind to notice more beautiful things. And you start the day positive. Yes, and, and because you start the day with and for yourself, 
you you see so many more beautiful things in st instead of um, focusing on the negative. Mm -hmm. And 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 when I went to church every Sunday and read the Bible, sometimes I had a week of uh, one hour um, quiet time that you can just read the Bible, uh, 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 find beautiful words and beautiful spirit and beautiful energy, um, and to start you know to to be in a beautiful mind. State state of mind, yeah. and I think if we would all, you know, like sure. try to focus more yeah. on beautiful things, it doesn't matter what kind of religion or what you believe in, but but exactly what you said, love. God is love. Love is everywhere. Love is all around us. If we focus more on beautiful, positive, and loving things, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're black or or white. It doesn't or matter or how you or call your God. If you call it a God. It is as long as you say, I think this is the most beautiful thing this, we have heard. This, this positive thing is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It reminds me of the mayor, our mayor from Rotterdam. Uh, Abu Talib. Abu Talib, he in the 14th May, he had a uh, reading. Uh, it's the day of the bombing, eh? Yeah, uh, the bombing of Rotterdam. And in the night there's a Hofland lezing, and he, uh, he gave one advice to uh, uh, students. He said, uh, when you talk about someone, Say something nice. Hmm. Yeah, give a compliment. Give a compliment. Yeah, we are so used to to be negative. Uh, me too. But, the, but <laughs> it's the first thing you see. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. start with yeah. something positive. This I is think this is very really nice. Yeah. What do, what would you think if we end this uh, episode with, uh, with uh, <laughs> naming the three positive things we had today? This day. Yeah, you want to join? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote them down this morning. Well, today you can I was add something. You can <laughs> add something. A bit lazy. <laughs> so I was just, just doing some other stuff today, but I am very thankful for my dog that oh, I have. I'm a dog Since too. I have a boyfriend, he has a dog, and, but it's now my family as well, my dog as well. So I'm really thankful uh, because I always wanted to have a dog. Um, today I'm very thankful for my lazy, chill day, and I'm I thankful to to be here. And and like I said earlier to sit next to you to 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 know that there are raw models and that there is a shift and things are changing for the better uh, also it in, in religious um places that's what i'm thankful for today yes nice. wow beautiful yeah. you good have answer to, you, you have to compete with that huh? <laughs> you're, you're lost <laughs> now i have to think of three things to be thankful of the hamster the, yeah the hamster <laughs> <laughs> i like this uh, um, I th I'm very thankful to live in uh, the Netherlands. Uh, I'm really, yeah, yeah. really thankful. Uh, I'm thankful for people like you. Oh, that's nice. Who oh. make um, this two item and this this programs. Uh, I think it's very helpful to uh, to people in uh, the Netherlands, all the world. And I am thankful with my lovely man, my mm. husband. <laughs> that's, that's it. So you I had to say that. You had to say that. Your turn. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Ladies yeah. first. Yeah. No. No, it's not that difficult. I'm a feminist. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a feminist. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm thankful for, uh, in what you say, thank you for the compliment. But the compliment's not completely mine because there are big lights here. But I am really thankful that we were able to make this show again it's the second one we uh, are going to make a few more uh not alone of course but with uh co-host chantal but also co-host warner the entire crew uh uh well, i can't name all of them but it's uh sylvain uh, his crew uh lars uh all the people that are here and we were talking about it yesterday when we also had a a day of a taping there are people that are all um uh sincere and they are sincere in doing this, and it's uh, th that gives you a really warm feeling. Talking about positivity, I'm also thankful that maybe now I also get a dog because Jordi has a dog. <laughs> uh, and I'm really every day very thankful for my two beautiful children and my beautiful boyfriend. And Chantal. Thank you. <laughs> I added you. I added you. It's very difficult to choose. Uh... So Chantal, what are you thankful for? Yeah. Yes. Don't yes. forget anyone. <laughs> yeah, f first all the great guests in all the shows. I think that's true. Yeah, yeah, I'm very thankful that for that. That are coming and that they are coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm very, very thankful for that. And I'm thinking, yeah, for my great life at this moment because I'm living in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, in the city center of Rotterdam. I have a nice job, so 
I think it's it's yeah. I'm really thankful for that. I don't have dog. <laughs> no. But she mentioned no. Rotterdam twice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love you. Yes, and and yeah, and, and yeah. At least uh, I think uh, uh, my girlfriend. Oh yeah, uh, Stephanie. 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 Yeah. Your 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 silent uh, uh, strength. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. I think uh, guys, girls, everything in between. Um, I think we uh, have a really positive ending of this. Um, you agree? Yes. Uh, uh, normally, uh, uh, one of uh, the crew is already running towards us with uh, bubbles. Where are the bubbles? Where are the bubbles? Uh, <laughs> Here. Oh yeah, you'll yeah, have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, thank you very much uh, for being here. Uh, go to the Lawrence Church when you're in Rotterdam, Europe, and uh, book Mr. Jordan Roy. Let him travel through Europe. There were some uh, rumors two years ago that you were going to do the Eurovision Song Contest. Are you going to uh, Ukraine next year? I will be in the future. Just trust me, I will be there. Oh. I will be there. Yeah. <laughs> and win. And win. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, thank you. Thank you for this uh, show. Yes. So, second one, three times in a row. Want to do it again? Of course. See you this week. Yes. Bye-bye.